Hey, I'm Dave Douglas, Vice President of Advanced Technology at Sun Microsystems. I want to talk to you a little bit today about Project Black Box. I've got a Project Black Box right behind me. Basically, it's the first virtualized data center. We've taken eight racks of high, high performance computing and built it into a standard shipping container. These are standard 19 inch racks. We're able to take any mix of storage, servers, networking, and integrate them into a very efficient, rapid to deploy, instant on data center. It's gonna allow people to scale out their data centers quickly, grow incrementally, and cut down the cost and time involved with building brand new data centers from scratch. So why did we decide to build inside a shipping container? Well, shipping containers are interesting things. They were first invented by a guy named Malcolm McLean in 1956. He, he owned a trucking company, and, and as he was watching ships unload one day, in the port of New Jersey, he noticed they were taking off a box at a time, a crate at a time, and he said, this is silly, why can't I take my whole truck and just put it right on there? From that, he came up with the idea of standard shipping containers that you could use on trains, on trucks, on boats, and basically move them wherever you wanted to. But what was really cool about what he did was he recognized the importance of standards early, way back in the 1950s. What he did was he took the standard design, patented it, but then he gave the patents royalty free to the OSI Standards Foundation so that we have international standards about what shipping containers look like. He opened up for a lot of competition, but he created the industry that we have today of how to move stuff around. You can go buy a standard shipping container like this for under 3,000 bucks, and that's the basis that we built our Project Black Box on. He revolutionized the shipping industry. When before he started, it took about six bucks a ton to load a shipping containers worth of stuff onto a boat. Once they had shipping containers, it dropped it to 16 cents a ton. That's the kind of improvement we're looking for versus traditional data centers with Project Black Box. Let's go take a look inside and I'll show you some more details. So here we are inside the container. I'm sitting in the maintenance aisle and on each side of me, there's four racks, four on each side for a total of eight racks in here. Each of the racks is 42 rack units, uh, standard 19 inch racks. To service the racks, we pull them out into the aisle using a tool that you see down there. And so this one's partially pulled out. When they're pulled out, we can work on both the front and back side of the racks. Here you see we've got a whole bunch of servers in this one. The whole container, when it's full, will hold about 250 servers, plus networking, plus some storage or you can fill it all up with storage or fill it all up with tape, whatever you want. If you do it with storage, we can hold about a petabyte and a half. On the tape side, two petabytes. If you filled this whole thing up with our high-end computing stuff, we'd be talking about one of the top 200 supercomputers in the world just in one container, really cool. You see some of the other flourishes we did that kind of make this a really unique item. A lot of cable management up top. We've paid a lot of attention to how the cables run. You're able to pull a rack out into the aisle and service it with all the power and cabling still intact with the unit running. You'll also see interior lighting so you can work in here. It'd be a little tough, it'd be pretty dark if we didn't have that. The racks are set in here at a 90 degree angle. As you can see here, we're looking at the front of the rack. They, they're set at a 90 degree angle, so when they go in, the air is blowing through them down a whole row. In between each rack, you'll see a panel here that includes the chiller. Air goes across one rack and immediately through a water-cooled radiator that cools the air before it enters the next rack. Very tightly integrated, very efficient cooling system. All we need on the outside, cold water in, hot water out, and we can cool this whole thing. How much is it? 200 kilowatts if we've got this whole thing full of equipment. 25 kilowatts per rack. With standard existing Sun products, that's more than we could need to fill up with any Sun product we've got today. Finally, we spent a lot of time on the ability to transport this thing safely with equipment. You can't pick it up and move it with the equipment on. Disk drives don't like that very much and a bunch of other stuff but we can power everything down, pick it up with standard moving gear, and move it wherever you want. If you look, we've put in a lot of shock absorbing systems. At the bottom of the rack here, you see the, the system that handles the load and is able to absorb shock. 
There are similar systems on top that manage shock in all the other dimensions. When this thing's full of equipment, you could pick it up and drop the whole thing six inches onto concrete and not damage the equipment inside. Big deal, we've got a number of patents pending on both the cooling and the shock absorbing. The last thing you might be wondering is, hey, is it possible to lock me into this thing? Well, in general, there's a lot of checks and balances to keep that from happening, but if your friends really wanted to lock you in here, they could probably do it. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the tour. If you got questions, go to sun.com slash blackbox or give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to you more about it. Thanks.